Extended forecast, occupancy forecast that projects room demands, more than 30 days into the future. Forecasts can be as early as 6 months and even more. Fenced rate, a lower rate on a hotel's website, compared to other channels, but that involves certain preconditions, in order to make the reservation, such as non-refundable and non-cancellable reservations, or advanced purchase reservations. Fenced rates are more easily segmented. Forecast, expected revenue results based on analysis. Forecasts also typically refer to predicted demand. Franchise fees, annual fees collected by hotel brands from hotel owners, for the use of their name and services, including sales, marketing, and technology. Free sale, a term used when rooms are available for sale. Full house, a situation of 100% room occupancy in the hotel. FIT, free independent traveler. Now, it is often termed as transients. Global distribution systems, for large reservation systems, namely Amadeus, Galileo, Sabre, Worldspan, that were originally designed for airlines, and now widely used by travel agents, only to book all forms of travel. GDS systems generally use older technology, and are not connected through the internet. Gross operating profit per available room, a key performance metric that measures total revenue minus operational and marketing expenses per room. It gives a more clear idea of the actual revenue coming into hotel accounts. Group displacement, when a hotel accepts a group reservation, it could mean that some other transient guests will not be able to book a room on those dates. This is displacement of one source of revenue for some other. A hotel must estimate which source is more profitable before accepting the group reservation. Leisure traveler, a non-business traveler, who is traveling for personal reasons, and not work. It could include a traveler on vacation or a holiday. Length of stay, the number of nights a guest has booked at the hotel. Look to book ratio, used in the travel industry to show the percentage of website visitors, as compared to the number of people who book on the website. Also, it is comparable to conversion rate described earlier. Lose it rate, a rate where the hotel would be better off leaving the room unsold, than sell at this rate. Market share, the percentage of business that your hotel is receiving, as compared to other hotels of your competitive set. Market penetration index, a metric that is used to determine, whether the property is achieving its fair share of occupancy compared to a specific group of hotels. It is calculated by taking the occupancy percentage of the property and dividing it by the occupancy percentage of the competitive set. An MPI of above 1.00 indicates that the property is achieving more than its fair share, while below 1.00 suggests that the hotels in the competitive set are eating into the property's pie. Note, traditionally, Revenue managers prefer to multiply the number by 100. MetaSearch, a type of search engine that aggregates inventory from several sources, and presents it in a single space. E.g., Kayak.com. Minimum length of stay, an inventory control mechanism, like close to arrival that is used to optimize stay patterns, primarily to ensure that a peak demand night, does not get filled with one night stays. Mission Statement more focused picture of what the hospitality operation wants to do and how it will do.